So within our guru, I left click on probability simulation, go to probability, left click on that, left click on continuous. In this case, we're working with what's known as a student T distribution. So I change the drop down menu from normal to student T. I leave the values to probability function checked. The degrees of freedom was given as 18, so I fill that in. And for any work that you do with T distributions, these next three boxes must have values of NCP zero, center zero, and scales, uh, scale of one. You will never change those three values in this course. We now come down here, I do want below, and the value of the T value that I want to find the probability below for the area under the curve is negative two and 10 hundredths. And I click my preview, and there is the value, and to four decimal places, that would be 250 ten thousandths.